It's a Pioneer DEH P960MP. And the problem with this one is when I open it, the main screen doesn't turn on. So I'll be showing how to replace the ribbon cable for that main screen so that you can save your radio in case it has the same issue. First thing you want to do is power up the unit and get it to the open position. This is so that you'll be able to access all the screws for the two faces. And once you have it in that position, you'll have a screw in this back corner. Go ahead and unscrew that and pop off the lid. Next, you have four screws, one in each of the corners. So there's one back here, one back here, one through this hole, and one through this hole as well. Go ahead and take those out. And then you'll be able to remove the CD mechanism. And you will have a ribbon cable and a three pin plug. The ribbon cable will have to be taken out by pushing back on these two black tabs. The three pin cable or three pin plug will have to be pulled out from this connector. And you'll be left with this. And just make sure to keep an eye on your screws. Keep an eye on any parts that you remove so that you don't lose them and it, you don't have to worry about replacing them. The ribbon cable that we'll be replacing is this one right here. If you, if you check the route, you'll see that it goes up through that slot and into the back of the inner face plate or the main screen. And that's what we'll be trying to get to is removing this main screen in order to access that ribbon cable. All right, so when removing the bottom faceplate, you'll have to take out the right side ribbon cable as well. You can do that by prying out on the sides of this white connector. I just use a small flathead and I pry it on the sides, pull out the ribbon cable that is there and the reason for that is that runs to this bottom faceplate. So to remove the faceplate, you'll have two screws to remove. They're kind of darker silver and they're on each side, right there and right there. And those are the two screws you'll remove. On this right side, there will also be a spring. So be very careful not to lose that spring. It, provides tension on the faceplate so it doesn't rock back and forth. And I'll show you how to put the spring back onto the faceplate at the end when I'm doing the final assembly. All right, so onto removing the main faceplate. In order to do that, you want to take out one screw from each side. So you'll see that hole in the bottom right there. And on the other side, there is also another screw that goes on the faceplate, and it'll be able to rock back and forth, but you won't be able to remove it. So in order to remove it, you have to spin this gear backwards until you get into the lowest position. So you'll spin it, spin it, spin it, It'll expose the CD insert slot. Once you get it to the lowest point, you'll notice these arms. This arm right here will be towards like at the corner of this tab and it'll be able to slide out. So now that 
the faceplate is at its lowest point, you can wiggle it free and pull it out. And just be careful with the ribbon cable not to pull too hard or damage it. So now you just want to inspect the ribbon cable to see what exactly failed. And what I notice is this side of it is a little, a lot lighter. And you'll actually notice a crease in the copper traces. And then it, you'll see the contacts are broken. I'm just going to pull out the ribbon cable. All right, so I pulled out the ribbon cable by just pushing up on those brown tabs and as I'm looking at it, I see that these traces are broken or snapped. Luckily, this is not the ribbon cable that has to be soldered in. It's a simple replacement. And all I have to do is get the my new ribbon cable and put it in and reassemble and then I should be ready to go. Thank you for watching and feel free to enjoy my other videos or subscribe and follow my Instagram page for future content.